Today, I'm gonna be making the Betty Crocker Reese's Coffee Cake. This is peanut butter cake mix with mini Reese's peanut butter chips and brown streusel sugar streusel topping. That sounds good, brown sugar streusel topping. This was $3.64 at Walmart. Uh, you need three items. You need two eggs, you need one third cup of water and one third cup of vegetable oil. You also need, you can use uh, three different size pans. You can use an eight by eight, a nine by nine, or an 11 by seven. My pan is a nine by nine. And so you are supposed to grease the bottom of whatever pan you choose. I'm choosing to use parchment paper over the whole thing. So that's, that's, just, that's just how I do it. Okay, so in here, you have two things. You have, this is your streusel topping, that brown sugar topping, and this is your mix. You want to preheat your oven if you're using a uh, glass, aluminum or glass pan, you're gonna heat your oven to 400 degrees. If you're using a nonstick pan, 375. I'm going to 375. So you see all those peanut butter chips in there? So I'm going to add all three of my ingredients here, my eggs, water, and oil, and I'm gonna stir it until it's just combined, and it may be um, a little lumpy is what the direction said. Now pour that into your pan. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove my clips. I was just using those to hold my uh, parchment paper on. So now you wanna take your streusel and you're going to use all of it and you're gonna sprinkle it over the top. Now, because I'm using a nine by nine inch pan, mine are going to bake, uh, my coffee cake's gonna bake between 20 and 25 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer for 22 minutes and then we'll be back. This is how it looks after 22 minutes and to me it looks perfect. I, it, I think it looks completely perfect. Um, it says bake is directed and chart below or toothpick inserted into center comes out clean. Um, cool completely before storing. Uh, so it doesn't even say before before eating, it just says before storing, but we're not gonna store it, we're gonna eat it. So I'm gonna let it cool completely and then we'll be back to cut it. So this, not only can you make the, the crumb cake just like I did, which I think is just easier, uh, you can also make muffins. So to make muffins, you would line 12 regular size muffin cups with paper baking cups, divide the batter among the muffin cups, about three tablespoons each, sprinkle the streusel over the batter in each cup, about one teaspoon, and then bake for 17 to 22 minutes. So just know, if you wanna do that, you can. I like a nice little streusel muffin. It has a little streusel on top. I do too. It's a nice texture. I do too. It's, uh, as far as making something though, it definitely is more time oh, consuming yeah. to have to do that. Uh, as prepared uh, for a 12 of the package, it's 210 calories, which is what I would expect. And honestly, if you wanted to pick these up and eat them with your fingers, you could. Um. It says coffee cake, but it's more like a, it's more of a bread-like texture. It's a denser texture than a cake would be. Mm -hmm. um, a little closer, a little drier. But it's I not dry, that too. but it's a little dry. You know, I, I was gonna say the same thing. I think it's a little dry, and I think it cooked. I think it baked for the perfect amount of time. Mm -hmm. Got all the chips in there. Mm-hmm. Um, you could smell the peanut butter. You definitely taste the peanut butter. Yeah, you know it's peanut butter, that's mm -hmm. for sure. I like the streusel on top, although... It's um, so dry, though. 
Yes, it's, it, it is a little dry. And all I can say is, yeah, <laughs> get you a glass of milk. Be ready because mm, it is dry. Or a cup of coffee. Well, yeah. It, uh, it does have a nice peanut butter flavor. I like though. the flavor a lot. Um, and it is a, you know, when they put the Reese's name on it, um, I was thinking, did they put the Reese's name on it and you're not going to be able to really taste, is it going to taste like Reese's? This actually, they did use like Reese's chips, mm -hmm. and you can tell. It's, it's like the jar of Reese's peanut butter, not like a peanut butter cup. Though. Right. It's right. not the Reese's peanut butter cup flavor. It's more of the... If you ever buy the, the Reese's baking chips in the yeah. baking department, that's, yeah. that's what it is. Peanut butter chips is all it is. Uh, but it it's is... Good. I do think it's a nice crumb cake. I do think it's dry. Yeah. So, like, I like it, but would it be my favorite? No, it's not my favorite because... Mm -hmm. If you ever buy those, um, the Hostess or whatever they are, the crumb cakes, those are moister. Yeah. Those, those have a moistness to them that this just doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, if you're having something to drink along with this, I think you'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, if you're eating it by itself, it's yeah. dry stuff. That's what we'll be doing. We'll be going to going for Get the Get a milk. drink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.